What's up, you guys? So today I got ended up getting a knock sensor code on the hatch. And uh, I'm just replacing the knock sensor real quick. So the easy way to do this, you get a flashlight right in between the manifold. You could either take the bumper off. I mean, mine's like quick to disconnect. So you could either take it off or not. You get your ratchet and you get your socket. There's a space right in between here. You're gonna go in through here with your hand. You'll be able to disconnect the connector and you'll be able to loosen the knock sensor without having to remove the intake manifold or anything else. All you have to do is lift the car up and then uh, pretty much easy from there is pretty much like a 10 15 minute job if that that's the easy way to do it if you guys don't want to be dealing with removing anything besides the bumper like i said at least for me the bumper is a quick disconnect so it gets put on and off in two minutes but there you go that's the easy way to do your knock sensor i haven't installed it yet so i'm about to do that right now all right so i'm gonna get my new knock sensor going through the same hole right here see if i can get a, a good view for you guys In. There's the new knock sensor. Like I said, it's pretty easy. It's just hard because I'm trying to film it for you guys. Now we're just going to tighten it, reconnect it, and then hope the knock sensor uh, code is not popping back up. But that's pretty much it, guys. Remember, in between oil pan and fans, the radiator, you'll be able to, pretty much like you can see where it all fits through here. I don't have a motor mount right here, but it's not really in the way. But there you go. Easy way to install your knock sensor.